Of course, we'll start off with our quotes of the day. As usual, I know you've been waiting all week since last week, knowing, wondering, what's the universe and Abraham have in store for us today? So let's see. First, from the universe. Can you imagine the joy, the peace, the complete sense of satisfaction, the harmony, the love, and stitches of laughter? Can you imagine the interest income? Good, because nothing else shapes mountains, people, and bank accounts quite like imagination. Go, the universe. Ah, we love our quotes from Mike Dooley in the universe. Um, reminding us of one of our most, most important tools that we have access to us at all times, which is our imagination. Imagination is so important. It's literally what shapes and creates our life around us. Now, it may not do it instantaneously. It may not do it in 30 seconds, but it's our imagination. It's our thoughts it's it's our dreams that create our life and if you haven't been dreaming that much lately well now is a great time to start it's springtime things at least here in the northern hemisphere it's springtime uh, it's a great time things are starting to bloom and grow start using your imagination imagine the life you want to have imagine what it would be like imagine how much joy and fun and pleasure you want to have in your life imagine the great people you want to have in your life imagine the experiences imagine the beauty the nature imagine the, the concerts imagine all kinds of things and that will help to lay the foundation work of what will come to you so a wonderful quote from the universe all about imagination. Let's see what Abraham has for us today. Let's see, Abraham. When you want something that you believe, it feels good. But when you have a desire that you doubt, then that desire does not feel good because the vibrational content of your desire and the vibrational content of your belief does not match. Negative emotion is simply present when you are thinking in opposition to your own desire. Abraham. Huh, now that's a really interesting quote. It makes a nice balance to uh, the quote from the universe, right? Our imagination is what uh, creates our world around us. But when we don't believe in our imagination, then we don't feel good. You know, this is such an important point. We have a tendency to, to think that, oh, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, well, I must must want it, so you know, it has to feel good. But if you want it, and you're not believing in it, and not believing it's possible, and not believing that it will manifest in your life, then you're creating internal resistance, and that internal resistance. All it does is just keep that very same thing you desire away from you. It keeps it in the future. It keeps it from manifesting. And then what happens? Well, we know we're resisting it. We know we're not really allowing it to come into our life. So then we start feeling bad. We start saying, oh, it's never going to happen. Oh, who am I to want this? Oh, who am I to want that? Oh, see this other person? They got all their stuff. How come I don't get my stuff? How come things don't work out for me? And really what that is, is just a sign that you're in resistance to your own desires. And when you're in resistance to your own desires, it's just naturally not going to feel good. So when you know you want something really badly, when you know it's in your heart of hearts, you just know this is what you want and you don't feel good about it, take a look. Take a look at your beliefs. Take a look at those self-regulating patterns that run around inside your brain that said, oh yeah, I want this, but I'm, I, I don't deserve it, or I'm not good enough, or I can't have it. And, and, and look for those things, and let's start to unravel and unweave those patterns, because as we unweave those patterns, 
and we believe and allow and really feel good about what our imagination is creating for us, then, then we've got the golden keys. Then life is just a wonderful place to be and we will live uh, amazingly fulfilled, happy uh, lives of contribution. So two wonderful quotes of the day from Abraham and from the universe. I hope you enjoy them.